so as you notice that the computer is getting quite heat up now it's close to 80 celsius and uh, today it went even over 90 celsius because of the heating problem issue and you can hear how the fan is making quite loud noise So we should try and fix it with this thermal compound to see if the old thermal paste is worn out and not making the computer cool down enough. So let's open up the computer. So first of all we should let the computer cool down for a little while and it should be shut down because we're gonna remove the battery. So. Let's remove the battery first. Then we remove this cover case. If there would be dust in the fan hole, it should be cleaned, but it doesn't seem to have any dust in the fan place. We don't need this one yet. We of course need some household paper. So let's see if the uh, fan has some dust. Three screws should let the computer come out, I mean the fan come out from the computer and we can notice that there is some dust and the air vent is completely in dust. You should also clean this one up. You can somehow pull this electric cord, of course we shouldn't break it because then the fan would stop working. Well, like in this case, you can use some other tools. Still a bit hot the computer. Well, anyway, I can't seem to get it out, so I should try removing the dust. There is quite a lot of dust even in here. So first let's remove the these cooling parts from the CPU. So we need to screw these four screws open. And this part will come off. And we can see that there is still some old thermal paste. So let's clean this one first. It's the uh, cooling part. It's completely full of dust. No wonder it doesn't cool off. So I think I can just rinse it with water. Let's see what happens. Since this doesn't have any computer parts, 
I mean the electronic parts it's just metal so I just rinse it with water it's now clean and we can try it off so it doesn't damage the electric components and we should leave it to dry off for some time so this thermal paste can be removed with just household paper just like that so <clears throat> I think mainly the problem was that the fan duct was completely full of this little dust Next we need to um, wipe the old thermal paste from here. We should leave the dirty parts in the computer. And now let's put the thermal paste. Um, I'm not very sure how much there should be, but I don't think there shouldn't be much since it's quite small part here. Let's put the cap back in. Uh, let's wipe the thermal paste a bit better. I'm just using cardboard in this case. I don't think it really matters, you can use plastic, just don't use metal, maybe it can damage the computer parts. Of course the cardboard might <coughs> absorb some of the paste. So now, since we have the paste put in back, New paste placed, let's put the cool sink back in there. So you should check if the thermal paste got flattened enough in the surface. And it seems to spread enough. So let's put it back in. I don't recommend to wash this uh, fan part since it has electronic components so it might get broken and you might just need to replace it if you can open this uh, adapter part you can take it out and maybe you clean the fan with some canned air 
but in my case I don't think it really matters much since the, it's working okay for me so let's see how this fix did so I have a high task again on the background doing stuff but now the computer doesn't seem to be warming up too much and the fan seems to be a little quieter probably from all the chunk it had like you can hear it now